Hello and welcome everyone to the Delmar Show. Thank you guys for joining me for another fantastic episode. As today, it's been one year since we moved in here. One exciting year since we moved here. On October 12, 2017, me and my brother has officially moved into our own apartment. And it's been incredible. I mean, I just love this apartment. It's fantastic. Me and my brother, mostly my brother Black Cross, have been wanting our own location for the longest time. We've always wanted to have our own little place where we could just decorate the whole place with everything that we love from Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy to Muppets and Thomas and all of our favorite franchises just decorated and it's just been incredible. I mean we've been paying our bills on time. I was nervous of how things would go with us paying more bills than usual. I mean when we used to live with Mom West, I would always pay for groceries and then Chris would do electricity and so on but Whatever, and that's the case, we ever have more stuff and I was a bit nervous, but so far it's just been incredible. We've been paying our bills on time, our neighbors are awesome, haven't had any complaints, or at least no complaints of us being too loud, thankfully, but it's just been a wonderful experience, it really has been. In this apartment, the, the Lord blessed me and my brother so much with this apartment, it's been incredible. Now you guys, most of the time if you watch my channel, We'll mostly know my little corner here of my game collection where I have three shelves just full of games and everything but you very rarely see much of the house. I mean sure you may see me behind one of the couches we have in the living room which is next door like seriously next door to here I could just jump to it, the place I used to film some of my Mullins vlogs at and then a little bit of my bedroom where I primarily do my Mullins vlogs. I don't know I, it kind of depends as Carrying my lighting system up and down the stairs is exhaust exhausting at times. But um, yeah, I just figured today to celebrate the one year anniversary of us moving to our apartment, I just do a little apartment tour. I did something similar to this last year where I showcased my bedroom, or my old bedroom that's now a man cave for my mom's husband Wes, decked out in all of Kentucky Wildcats. I'm not a Wildcats person, but it's, it's cool you're gonna have to say. But yeah, I just think it would be fun to showcase the apartments. Um, it's mostly complete. We may do like some small move arounds here and there, but other than that, I think we got it pretty situated to how we like it. So without further ado, yeah, let's showcase around the apartment and show you the places where you probably haven't really seen or stuff. I mean, it's not a huge apartment. I mean, it's two stories with two bedrooms upstairs and this downstairs. But other than that, um, you get to see more of the apartments. So. Yes, to go! We're gonna start things out in the kitchen. Um, the reason why I decided to start the kitchen first is, uh, well, I mean, I still love the kitchen. It's great, but it's not the most decorative plot part of the apartment. Uh, it's kind of blandish, but when we decorate it for like Christmas time, that's when things get serious. And it's, we love cooking down here. Um, behind these double doors is the uh, washer and dryer. Oh, we had some dirty clothes here. But Oh well, but yeah, it's uh, the, the washing dryer is hiding behind these uh, double doors here, but uh, yeah, for the kitchen, it's very nice and cozy, uh, not the most decorative, but I mean, we still try to sprinkle ourselves a little here and there, like some fridge magnets, um, you'll probably know straight away that me and my brother loves to do puzzles, mostly my brother, but yeah, we love doing puzzles, uh, and we got them all around the house, mostly Disney related, but we just, it's just really fun and we especially love the Thomas Kincaid puzzles, those are very nice, like this was our very first one here, uh, this was a Lady in a Tramp one, which is one of my all time favorite Disney animated movies, uh, that should be a video for another day, and then of course around the wash and dry it, uh, I don't collect Hot Wheels, but I love collecting like these character Hot Wheels. Like, I only got like the Super Mario one, which there's a Mario Kart line coming out next year uh, in 2019, so I'm definitely gonna check that out. And then on top, I recently got this completed, my Mickey Mouse 90th Anniversary Collection. Uh, and I just love how they got uh, eight of them and they just look lovely. By the way, I just discovered these new Mickey Mouse uh, cartoons and I'm in love with them. They are fantastic and they're just, oh, they're so good. And if you could probably not tell, we uh, done our early Christmas decorating. Uh, yes, we celebrate Christmas or start decorating Christmas in October. We don't like Halloween because it's very scary. 
And then if we move from the kitchen, my office. Uh, this is my favorite part of the apartment. I just love my office space. I know it may be odd to some people uh, to have my office right across from the kitchen. I did this for one now I can focus more on the videos as when I am tired, which I'm tired always. I mean, I love my job, but I, uh, uh, yeah, I just get tired easily. I uh, decided to make sure that when we move, my computer was away from my bed. That way I can just rest. And uh, yeah, we got it decorating uh, in so much stuff. Like I got it decorated with some of my favorite things, uh, which, uh, yeah, there's the uni figurine from my uh, action figures collection episode. And I recently got Plutia, or Pluty, uh, yeah, she's cute. And of course, Neptune. And uh, uh, even though I don't collect like Thomas merchandise or a whole lot, I did love this uh, Adventure Begins Thomas here. So, uh, and uh, also, this is a little picture when me and my folks was in Dollywood. There's Wes, there's Mom, there's Chris, and there's some weird chapter I don't know what's up with him and then next to me is some of my characters just laying around and uh, yeah it's just very lovely I got two computer monitors on my computer desk for one that way I can have uh, Adobe Premiere open in this window and if I need a reference or anything I could just open up with one, another window here instead of having to close this down or anything by the way uh, Hilda if you have Netflix watch this it is a fantastic show i love it love it love it and then decorate around my office is just a bunch of stuff uh, like some of completionist uh the compa drawing i got from fanboy expo and just wonderful stuff this i think is very important if you are planning on doing a lot of videos an ideal board this helps me so much like when i have so many videos i want to do if i keep forgetting them I just have this idea board here, that way I can uh, focus on what videos I want to make for a couple months. And uh, look at that, there's the apartment tour that I'm making right now with the release date, that way I don't forget to release it. So this part here, I know this is kind of giving away spoilers for uh, upcoming videos, but yeah, this is something that I recommend if you definitely all want to do a lot of different types of videos, get yourself a marker board. It, it helps organize a little bit. And then next to my computer desk, aside from this giant Star Wars one here, is dragons. Uh, lots and lots of dragons. My brother loves dragons and he has a lot of them out. Sorry, those are for my knees. Uh, yeah, he has quite a bit of dragons. So now he got, or had them for about 10 years, I think. He's been having these dragons for a long time, I remembered. And, uh, oh yeah, you get that. It's the Grinch with Jack Skeleton. <laughs> yeah, we're keeping that up for Christmas and Halloween. Uh, in here, it's just a half bathroom. Uh, yeah, it's just a half bathroom. That's a bad is, so yeah, that's nice. And then over here is the living room. Uh, I'm down here most of the time. Uh, then again, I'm right there. <laughs> and uh, that way, did you guys know how I have this Elgato right here that we have a very long cord all the way connected to my computer that way I can still record gameplay even though I have to constantly get up to uh, do but yeah what me and my brother try to do with the apartment is try to get the living room be consistent of mine and his personalities both of our representations so you might see like Nintendo and then Who Framed Roger Rabbit there and then with dragon axes and Sharp swords that are very too close to the couch uh, here, so um, I get kind of nervous that my personality is kind of overtaking the living room as I'm there. <laughs> my game collection is just right there, but he hasn't really said anything about it. And uh, yeah, it's just wonderful. There's the front door, obviously, along with uh, shoes and jackets, uh, and of course my old Super Mario Fleety World poster that's hung there. Uh, we'll just start out with the TV like this. Giant TV, um, I think it's 60 inch, 65, I can't remember. And of course, my Amiibo collection. Uh, yes, I have a lot of Amiibos, but believe it or not, I haven't actually gotten any new Amiibos for the past five months, I think. The last Amiibo I got was the Bowser 
writing Amiibo back in May, I think. It's been quite a long time. I haven't gone around to getting any new Amiibos, but with the fact that there's more coming, especially Smash Bros. Ultimate related, uh, it's time now to get some more. I'm actually planning on redoing my Nintendo Amiibo video I did a long time ago, so that's the, that's the good to come out. And we have some of my game consoles, like since I'm down here most of the time, uh, yeah, uh, this is my spot here where I mostly play my games and uh, uh, yeah, I know it's kind of a mess, but uh, yeah, all my other consoles are kind of like stacked in with each other, like we have the, I actually have a Genesis now, thanks to my good friend uh, James, uh, not the other one, but a different one, and then some more, I mean, yes, I know it's kind of cluttered, and even the controllers wise, like, all my controllers are just kind of like, jammed in there. It's not the best, I will admit, but that is probably something I am going to improve as time goes on to clean up uh, or organize the consoles a bit. For what it is, it works well and the television is nice. Even though this was my brother's TV that was in his old bedroom and my TV is in his bedroom. One thing I do want to point out is the couches. I mean, they're, they're, they're nice couches, but they are really comfortable. Uh, I mean, yes, there's a futon underneath this one, but a lot of times when our friends come over, they usually just take a nap on a couch as it's very soft and relaxing. In fact, even our dad, who I've mentioned a few times, but he's a farmer and he doesn't really rest a whole lot, but he came over one day and sat down on his couch and had trouble getting up because he, he was enjoying himself. It was a they're pretty comfy, so some of you come over, Beware the curse of the couches. And now for the part that I think everyone can recognize, my filming spot or my game collection. But first, you don't really see these little cabinets here that much, like here. Again, more dragons because, well, my brother just has so many dragon statues, a lot. And it even continues even to the first bottom three shelves here. This is probably my personal favorite with them, uh, Kind of like casino, gambling like, it's it's cute, I like it. But then when we get up here, you can see more of me, like, you can see some of the things that I love. And I'm saying, including like a little railway series uh, tribute stand here. Don't ask why Scruff is there, but then again, Scruff is one of my favorite characters. Despite the fact I don't get the voice on my whole line when I do, it has my throat. And then some more collectible figurines that I have, some that I'm showcase back in my little figurines video I did uh, which you can check out still but of course my little game collection like I have so many different stuff like this top part is nothing but just displays plushies and all that and even that inflatable go-kart I showcased in a vlog a while back but then as we continue on I have so many games uh, I'm not gonna go through like each individual one but I think I probably have close, not counting digitally, but physically, I think I might have about maybe 500 games. Um, I'm not sure if that's entirely true or not, but I have so many different games, but I just love them. Um, I haven't really gotten like a whole lot of new games uh, in my collection lately. Like, I think the last new one I got in was, uh, what could I can't even remember now. I just haven't collected like any games for a while, uh, well it's not all entirely games, like this is just my favorite movies and TV shows here and then in 64s, but um, yeah, it's just I just have so many games to go through, but I love to get the ones I know for fat, I'm definitely going to play some point in my life, uh, hopefully get to play them. Um, and then the bottom shows are mostly just like movies and TV shows and all that. One shelf dedicated mostly to the entire Disney animated anthology. Uh, we almost got all the Disney movies on DVD. Almost. I think we're missing like Meet the Robinsons and uh, uh, I think Fleet Cabriolas, if I'm mistaken. So we almost got all the Disney anime movies on DVD. Moving away from my living room is a part that I know for a fact I have not filmed any at all for this channel. The stairs, just this huge stairway. Um, remember how I briefly mentioned my lighting equipment I have 
uh, while it's heavy and carrying it up and down the stairs to film Mullen's vlogs is exhausting. We just mostly decorated the stairs with some of our favorite uh, posters and wall scrolls and everything. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's very nice. The one, there's two things I do want to mention regarding. Uh, for one, you notice immediately we have this giant Darth Vader big head. Uh, this was actually a gift from us from our friend Jared, who's a very dear friend of mine. I uh, used to work with him. And uh, yeah, he's a huge Star Wars fan, and he gave us this giant bobblehead, not bobblehead, big head for our apartment as he has no space to put it in. And this took, a, it was a challenge to get this up here, but other than that, the only part we had trouble was the lightsaber, which we just kind of bent a little to that corner. But yeah, it's a very, it's just a nice little addition. And then, right next, smash in between Super Mario Odyssey and My Python the Holy Grail is this lovely, nostalgic Thomas poster that my mom and my brother found at a thrift store that opened a couple months ago. And it's, I love it, I just love looking at it. It's just, I miss this kind of art style here. Yeah, I mean, I love the CGI series, but to see illustrations like this, you don't see that often for Thomas and I wish they can go back to like a little hand-painted egg tie for like a special event or something, but I mean it still looks very nice. And behind there's my bedroom, you can't tell because Oswald is uh, falling down, we'll have to get that fixed in the morning. And then there's my brothers, but before I do, focus on the middle section. Okay, I'll, aside from the obvious Marvel one, this part is... A little photo memorabilia of my family of mine and Black Crosses, our family here, and, and that's uh, Challenger and Shadow there as a Fleet Stooges. That was a fun time there. But yeah, we just love our family, and we don't have all of our family members on photo, but uh, yeah, we're getting to that. It's just, we just love them all, and we want to remember all of them in a way, so this is just a little tribute to our family, it's just incredible. And now I mentioned my dad a couple of times and Wes appeared in one of my videos. Uh, but I haven't really shown like a picture of my and Chris's mom. So yeah she said in a video but portrait cameo. I'm hoping to put in a video someday, I just don't know how to. You see if Chris or Black Cross or whatever is he's not busy or anything, uh oh crap I, I did, I'm sorry I didn't mean to interrupt you record I'm not enjoying your recording? Nah, I'm just playing games. Okay, yeah, I uh, hope you don't mind. I'm just doing a room tour. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, technically you've done a room tour over here once, didn't you? Or? Yeah, I've done a room tour. The first time I did it was whenever I, uh, when we first moved in here. And then the second time was after it got fully completed and everything, where I got it, where I wanted it to be at and stuff. So. My collection has grown since that video. Uh, if you if you haven't watched it, uh, we'll leave a link. But uh, I started having a second uh, set already built up on my PlayStation 2 as is. Yeah, well, I mean, PS2 is your console of choice. It is. It is very much my uh, console of choice. Yeah, Before and you that. have a lot of Kingdom Hearts stuff and more pop figures than me, obviously. It's, it's growing a little bit each time, so... I, yeah. I ended up actually liking Pop Figures more than I thought I would. Like, at first I didn't really care much for them, and now I've just started to collect them more and more, little by little, yeah. so... Also, I just want to point this out, but, uh... <laughs> I can't get over that. So, um, believe it or not, me and my brother loves watching SMG4. Yeah. And uh, whenever Bowser does that face, like like on a computer screen, that's just that's just my brother's favorite facial expression of I SMG4. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> yeah, it's like I got you, fam. I got you, fam. <laughs> By the way, what the heck is up with that Bowserette thing? I I don't understand why that was popular. I'm thinking it's just because of the Toadette thing and the fan base was like, give us a Bowserette, and it's like, do we really want that? Um, fun fact, that's actually happening. What? The, I mean, that's a little literal saying the, that Nintendo's the, the, doing. They're literally doing that. They're gonna add a Bowser mode, where you're gonna kidnap Peach, and uh. Yeah, you can 
transform into Bowser at. Okay, I gotta look that trailer up. That's yeah, they, No, they just announced it. There's no trailer. I was about to say, depending on how it looks, depends on how accurate the art looks. Because uh, that scares me. I'm scared. But, 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 oh, no. I'm gonna get the game. And then finally, we are in my bedroom. There's not much up here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, this is a good bedroom. Uh, this used to be... Well, this was originally meant to be my meditation room for like when I get off work and I just want to unwind and step away from the computer, but that's uh, kind of hard to a bit. Really hard as well. I'm downstairs most of the time, so up here I just mostly sleep and everything, but yeah, uh, it's still a very nice spot uh, to just relax and just unwind and everything. Like, uh, there's a course, this used to be where Barney uh, Barney's cage was, but this was an odd table, and I got it looking good. Uh, this giant book is nothing but just illustrations of Walt Disney's work when he was alive, like from his animated films up until his past, and it's just, yeah, it's a big book. <laughs> it really is. I wasn't expecting, but I absolutely love it. And all my books are up here as well. I haven't really got any like, new books lately, aside from, and I showcased this, uh, this one in one of my vlogs of the first Neptunia games for PS3, the N64 anthology. I, yeah, that was I got that before. But yeah, it's just uh, yeah, just mostly books and a uh, Papalu. I love Papalu. He's so cute. Um, but yeah, just uh, it's just my bedroom. It's not really a whole lot. Uh, I don't usually do much except just sleeping <laughs> and taking a bath. Although I do have a few new posters that I've gotten over the years, like uh. I replaced my South Park The Fractured Butthole poster with this one of your name, which is an amazing film. I absolutely love this anime film. If you haven't watched it yet, whenever you get a chance to, just definitely check out Your Name. It's such a great movie. Then I have this cast photo of MK2. Uh, I just love that game that much. Uh, and then uh, some more posters. And then the original Steam team, uh, minus Toby right here and then uh, this is just my regular bathroom oh I forgot to turn the lights on my regular bathroom in here uh, and I got a few things that you know, another puzzle there of Donald Duck um, and behind me we have this lovely picture of Vert uh, again go back and watch my four goddesses online with you she's just one of my favorite characters and finally behind here well aside from that quote which I showcased in one of my videos I can't remember which one but, uh, last thing I want to showcase is this wall scroll of Little Witch Academia. It's, uh, it's the Netflix exclusive anime, and if you haven't checked it out, I definitely recommend it. It's only 25 episodes, and it's one of my favorite animes that came out recently. Uh, I hope to talk about it sometime in the future, as well as Violent Evergarden, which is another Netflix anime that I absolutely love. And that is the apartment tour, uh, showcasing everything around the apartment that you probably haven't seen, like the stairs area, or mostly like the upstairs, or even the kitchen for that matter, just, it's a small apartment in reality, it's not that big, but I mean, we don't need a huge house, unless we were like, the immortal John Hancock, who has an abundance amount of game collection, there maybe, but for me and my brother, it's nice and cozy, and it just feels like home. It's really wonderful and we just, it's just been an incredible experience and we hope to live it for many more years to come. Now in reality, we're not really planning on doing anything else uh, in terms of decorating for the apartment. I mean, I might showcase like how we decorate the house during Christmas time for one special Mullins vlog probably, uh, which we'll probably start decorating soon. We love Christmas, so who cares about Halloween, right? And uh, yeah, it's just been amazing apartment and I love every second of it so let me know in the comment section below what you guys love about the apartment and everything and I hope to maybe uh, switch around some filming locations maybe film some more stuff in my little office area or whatever so in any case though thank you guys for watching this God bless you and I will see you all in the next Delmar Show episode bye bye